If you feel like I was able to explain you what exactly load balancer is and how it is used, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Say suppose you have a web application which is getting requests from different devices across the world. All these requests are served by a backend server so that your customers are happy. But how would you arrange them? Will it be a one-to-one -one mapping for each device to each backend server? I don't think so. That will be super costly for you. How about if we go ahead and change the dynamics and make all the devices start using only one backend server? This is also not a good idea because a backend server will go out of memory and you'll have a very bad user experience. I have a way for you. How about for different devices which are across the world, I could come up with something called as a load balancer. All the requests which are coming from these devices could be taken care by a load balancer so that it does not overload the backend servers in one go and we do not have one-to-one -one mapping and this load balancer will basically route those requests to different backend servers based on the load. It could also add backend servers so that if there is a high load, we can have additional servers to cater these requests. And that's how a load balancer works. I hope to see you in the next one.